so what's up everybody mr. AC here this is my part two of uh, does it matter where we buy our parts so um, as you look in there condensers new I redid the compressor redid the condenser dryer orifice tube I also went in here and replaced the um, blend door actuator just to see what it was gonna do I also did a new battery not only that we did a uh, low side high side sensors and I mean it's just not cold enough not even when I'm cruising I can't pass I mean I can't put it all the way it has to stay on three because anything higher than that oh uh, Let's see. I mean, look, it's not even 100 degrees out yet. That's just not cool enough. And if I put it on number four, it will not get any colder. Got AC in the rear. Um, front and back are equal so nothing gets any colder or hotter between the two or any of that so my question is does anybody have any comments leave me something down there what i can do i mean i shouldn't have to put an e-fan this system worked before not since i've had it but i'm sure it's worked before great just like any other vehicle that gets jobs done or whatever so this is three new compressors three new condensers two new accumulators, two orifice tubes. The first time I cleaned and flushed this system of four bottles of solvent and we still, still not working here. Please, tips, something. Does it really mean I have to go to the dealer to get this, these parts? Because it can't be me, especially when we keep repeating the same process over and over and over again. It just tells me my parts are no good. So please, uh, anybody, leave a comment, throw your ideas out. Anybody gone through the same issue? I mean, I've been doing this for 12 years, and um, my own truck, I can't get to work right, no matter how many times I change these parts or, or what. So, uh, yeah. Now, I also changed my battery. New battery with no difference. I mean, if I put it on number four, it, it's not cold. It, it can't produce any cold air. When I put it on number two, as you see where it's at now, that's where all the cold air comes out. And that's not enough when it's 115. We got Saturday coming. This will be like 117 out. So my next step is uh, I'm going to change that actuator there. That is the blend door actuator that, you know, controls the heat and cold temperatures. And um, this one doesn't have any screws. I guess you just pop a, pop a screwdriver in there and it just comes right out. So I'm going to try that and see what that does. Uh, replace that. Maybe it's getting stuck halfway. Don't know, but let's do it. Let's just try it and see what it does. This is my last resort. I mean, I'm telling you, I believe I believe I need to go um, all OEM. You know, this vehicle just requires too much Freon and the condenser and stuff is is too cheap. That's that's what I'm feeling. But um, of course, I can't just go and pay for dealer parts. That gets too much. So I'm going to try this screwdriver here and just kind of wedge it out some, you know, some, not too hard. Get in the way, I know. Ooh. That's it, I guess. And just kind of wiggle it out. Maybe there's more in the back. I'm going to have to work on it. It's hard to hold the camera. But that's all you got to do on this one is just, you know, you can see it's moving now. I just got to get to the back. I'm going to get a bigger screwdriver and pry it out. But that's it. I'm going to try this and we're going to see what it does from there. Remember, this is my part two of my AC not working. Yo, everybody. So, actuator replaced. I did have to get in there and turn the door a little bit for the new actuator to fit. So, I was thinking, well, maybe it's just slightly open a little bit, you know, to just let that little bit of warm air in and not get it cold enough. Didn't change anything. So I don't know what to do next. There's no need to change any parts unless I'm gonna to go to the dealer because no matter how many times I'm, gonna, I'm going to put an air compressor in or a new condenser, it's not gonna change anything. 
uh, please, any comments down there, um, any ideas? It's a Ford thing because I also did a Ford about two months ago, and he came back saying the exact same thing. It's just when you're driving, and then I tested his battery. So I thought maybe the battery was it because his also said replace. Mine said replace. So I just broke down and bought me a battery to see if it would do anything, and um, it didn't change anything either. Some of these newer cars, it will. It will do something. But uh, mine's too old, and I don't think it runs the same way as these newer cards with all the computer stuff in it. So um, I really don't know what to do next. Like I said, new sensors, both both high side, low side. Um, you know, it gets cold just like any other car does in the morning. And when you get off work, it's a different story. But why when everything's brand new? Again, I still think it's these cheap parts. doesn't matter where we get our parts from. I wish I had the money to go just waste on a, you know, just the condenser, even if it was just the condenser, because I, th I really think the condenser is what's causing this problem, but I really don't know. I just think it's too much Freon. The condenser's too thin. It's just, just going through way too fast through this little tiny thing, and that's the only thing that goes through my mind is that's what the problem is, but they want too much money. So um, I'm just going to keep researching, and maybe hopefully somebody will say something down there. You know, I got my other YouTube channel that talks about a police scanner. I got so many people that want to talk about why Phoenix and my police scanner works, but it don't. You need this phase two, and my police scanner does not have this phase two. So, um, you know, things also differently that I'm learning around too. But, um, yeah, if anybody has any any anything to say, let me know. Comments below. Like and subscribe, everybody. I'm keeping it going. Mr. AC.